Hi, this is Sarah, the Internet Money Mom, and today we are going to tackle the word underconsumption. Underconsumption is the hot topic right now on social media, and I'm confused because underconsumption to me means what most people already do, or most people that are good with their money already pretty much do underconsume. So I'm just trying to figure out why this term is so popular right now. So we're going to talk about underconsumption. So if you are responsible, with your money, if you're responsible with your money, if you are thoughtful with your money, if you are thrifty, that's a good word, thrifty with your money, you are an under consumer. So actually I'm going to switch colors, we're going to go with the purple. Then you are an under consumer. And that word probably won't even last a year. It's just the trending word right now, under consumer. So if you are opposite of this and you are an over consumer, then you would be over here. Oh, and this is Sam Duck. She's in every video. So you're an over consumer. If you are unresponsible, If you are unthoughtful, I don't think they can see me, Sammy. Or if you are unthrifty, you are an over consumer. Right? So, basic 101. So, all these people that are getting millions and millions of views saying they're an under consumer, I think I've been an under consumer probably most of my lifetime. And, I find that under consuming is good for the environment, good for your wallet, and good for keeping yourself out of debt. So if you're an under consumer or an over consumer, you can fit into one of these two categories, obviously. And I think that by default, if you were to take all of the people, Sammy, all of the people that are on social media, I would say a lot of them are probably over consumers. If you take a lot of people that are in like my age group, late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, I would say that they are under consumers because they didn't grow up in the social media age where over consumption is the norm now. Under consumption for the last 40, 50 years has been the norm. So I don't really know if overconsumption is actually the norm. I think it's just social media looking like people are over consumers. Most of the people that are on social media that pr promote a lot of overconsumption probably return most of the stuff that they get because like who needs a hundred pairs of shoes? But, well, I shouldn't even say that because some of the people I follow, it's amazing some of the stuff that they have. So, I just think we should stop using the word under-consumer because most of us are under-consumers. If we are thoughtful, responsible, and thrifty with our money, we shouldn't even really have to worry about it because we've already are squeezing the last of our toothpaste. We're already cutting our makeup open to get the last little drops out. We are using to the end of the toilet paper roll. We are using to the end of the dog food. We are using $3 tennis balls instead of $25 tennis balls from Amazon. We are eating out only when necessary or for treat. Sometimes it is fun to eat out. But just know that if you are an under consumer, oh, don't feel bad because you are with like 90% of the middle class. 90% of the middle class. 
are under consumers. The other 10% are probably not my friends because they're over consumers and I don't relate to them. So this is just a little five minute monologue of the trend over consuming. Um, and this is probably ridiculous to do because most of you that um, are my subscribers and follow me are thoughtful, responsible, and thrifty with their money. Did you enjoy that, Sam Dog? And I'm hiding from my family because they're watching The Bachelor and it's too nice to be inside. See ya.